What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Reggie Bryant. I'm the author of The Wealth Journey and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. And when I tell y'all this channel is about to evolve, this channel is about to evolve. We're gonna talk about a different topic today. It's more than just money advice. It's money advice specifically for entrepreneurs. So it doesn't matter if you're new to entrepreneurship, you're thinking about entrepreneurship, or you've been an entrepreneur for a while, from big to small, it doesn't matter to me. This is advice that applies to every single one of you. Whether you make $3,000 a year from entrepreneurship or $300,000 a year. And what inspired me to make this video is sometimes on my coaching calls, I'll either get like really high paid professionals or I'll get entrepreneurs. And a lot of times they're actually making a lot of money, but they don't know where to put their money or they don't know what better things they could do with their money in their business to actually make it grow. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into this video. The first piece of financial advice I could possibly give an entrepreneur, especially one that just started, is don't quit your job for it. Look, this is something that I was given when I first started my entrepreneurial journey. And I actually got a lot of bad financial advice when I first started becoming an entrepreneur. And so we're gonna break this down real quick. So don't quit your job. Look, there is too much information. There are too many videos. There is too much literature. There are too many podcasts preaching the narrative of basically F your job. Almost as if to criminalize the idea of having a job. Like most people in America don't make an honest living doing a job working for someone else. And the narrative does have a positive impact and it does have positive meaning behind it. But if it hits the wrong person the wrong way, they might mess around and really leave their job to pursue entrepreneurship, which I don't think in today's time or really any time is a smart idea. I'm not talking about the outliers, the people who dropped out of college or the people who completely left their six figure job or whatever their job was, it doesn't matter how much it paid, whatever was paying them and how they were making their living, they left that to pursue something from zero. I'm not talking about the outliers who did that and became millionaires or even billionaires. They are outliers for a reason. That, in my opinion, is about as logical as quitting school to go play basketball in the NBA when you ain't even made varsity yet. You get what I'm saying? And, and the thing is, you have to get there first. Like I could see if you were making strong passive revenue for a long time, or just strong revenue in general for a long time from your business, right? And you understand your infrastructure, you understand where your business is going, you understand how you want to expand your business in the future. Because then once you've done this for a while, you actually can make that decision. Do I want to do this full time or do I want to keep doing this and my job? Or you feel like your job is slowing you down from your business once it's already generating strong revenue. That makes sense to start thinking about quitting your job. But I'm talking about from the very beginning when you first start entrepreneurship and you're all fired up about your ideas and you got some products going. You may have made a YouTube channel or an Instagram or some form of an influential account kind of where you centralize your content to bring in more traffic to your brand, so to speak, then, then you're just getting started. This is the time in your life where you're gonna need that stability. And that's even if you really don't like your job right now. And I've been there. I have 1000% been there. I preach about that on this channel all the time. I wrote about it in my book and everything. But anyway, what I'm saying is, this is the time in your life where you need stability, where you need constant flow of income that you can rely on, that you know how much it's gonna be every single month. The thing about entrepreneurship, your income streams are not always reliable. You don't always know exactly how much money you're gonna make every single month. And the reason you need this reliability is for one, that's income that's actually going towards your business and towards your purpose. Not only bills, if you're an entrepreneur and you have a full-time job, you know just as well as I do, your money just doesn't go towards your bills. It goes towards your vision. It might go toward your website. Some of that might go toward your website, toward a course that you're building, towards equipment for a YouTube video, or it might be money that you're spending to hire someone to do a specific job, like artwork or a logo or editing a video, something of that nature, something that's gonna take your business further. So at times, and I felt like this, at times you may feel like, man, my job is really holding me back from like what I'm doing. Really what it's doing is, is giving you that income and it's giving you more chances to put money into your business. 
while also giving you the lifestyle that you have currently. And it may not be where you want it to be right now. And that might be part of the reason why you enter the world of entrepreneurship, to have the opportunity to make a salary that doesn't have a ceiling, because that's one of the narratives that gets preached. And there's nothing wrong with it, and it's actually true. There is a cap to every single, even when it comes to industries where you wouldn't think there's a cap, like sales, for example, there is a cap. There's always a cap to your salary when you work a job. Just always know that. And you want to make unlimited amounts of money where you don't feel like you have to trade all of your time for your money. I get that. You might want to have your time back and spend more time with your family. I also get that. You might feel like you're chained against your job. But right now, what your job is really doing is, is helping you take steps to reach your dreams. So to then quit that job is not going to do your business any favors because eventually you're going to run out of money if you quit your job and you don't have any other form of income. Or if you just have really, really, really low income from your entrepreneurial ventures, then you're still not going to really be able to support your business. You're going to have limited time. And I would, I would even go as far as to say, even if you did have the savings that you should have, I'm talking about the common financial advice of three to six months of expenses. If you really think you're going to quit your job today and then put three to six months into your business by yourself, without prior entrepreneurial experience, without understanding your infrastructure, without really understanding business, that you're going to take it from zero to 10K a month or more, I think you're mistaken. Can it be done? Absolutely. But is it likely? No. Just being honest, you can actually learn a lot about business in your job. And people are going to tell you, yeah, F that job and blah, blah, blah. And I can't stand working for someone else and blah, blah, blah. I have to ask another man or woman for time off. I get it. I understand. Especially if you hate the job and it's like it doesn't feel fulfilling. But right now, that's where you're at. I'll never forget. One time I was at my job. This is when I first started. I was probably like 21, 22 years old. I just got into the management field, right? And this one guy was like, man. This ain't your calling. And I really didn't know what to say to that because like I was busting my tail every single day, sweating, working hard, understanding leadership, understanding business and all of that stuff. And I was doing physical work, too. And before I could even say anything, this other guy chimed in. He was like, well, it might not be his calling, but that is his calling until he figures out what he wants to do outside of here. And I was like, that, that, that's right. And you got to think about your job like that. Like, it might not be what you're meant to do right now. It may not be something you like doing right now, but it is what's paying the bills right now. And it is what's keeping you up financially right now. I don't think enough people give the real behind finances when it comes to entrepreneurship. It's just like a butterfly and rainbow type of thing. Like, yeah, quit your job, do this you know, get a mentor, even with the mentor, it's going to take longer than you think. It's not going to happen like tomorrow. And this is coming from someone who's had mentors, millionaire mentors at that. So just keep that in mind, because what happens when you think like that, like in terms of like, I'm going to quit this job, I'm going to leave this job, I'm going to, it's definitely going to be this that gets me out of this job. Your, your work ethic is inevitably going to slip and it's going to, the way you're thinking is going to reflect in your work. And that is the last thing you want, because then obviously worse things can happen. And my definition of entrepreneur is someone who takes ownership for any and everything they do, the good and the bad. And at that point, when you when your work ethic starts to slip, you're not taking full ownership in any and everything you do. And there's consequences behind that. So just think about that. Get there first, build up your revenue, understand your infrastructure, understand how your business is going to be. And then you can start thinking about, okay, but you have to do the math. You have to mathematically sit down and say, you know what? Am I ready to leave my job for this? How much cushion do I have? How many months can I afford not to work? How many years can I afford not to work? Those are the conversations you need to have with yourself. But on top of that, and this leads me to the second piece of advice I want to give you today. So entrepreneurs don't have a retirement plan. That needs to change. What made me think of this, I was on a call one day, and this wasn't like an entrepreneurial call. This was just a regular like coaching session that I had, finance coaching session. And the guy was an attorney, and he was like, yeah, we don't have like a 401k or any type of investment thing. So we, we're, that's on us to do, which I actually didn't know. So I learned something new. I don't know if it's like the everywhere, but with this specific person, he didn't have like a 401k or a Roth IRA or anything to invest in that his company provided. And so you got to think about it's the same way for entrepreneurs, high earning or not, like you don't have a retirement plan. 
So you need to think about your retirement. Everyone in entrepreneurship is pretty much told from an early stage in entrepreneurship is, you know, any money that you make from your business, put it back into the business. Any extra money you have at work, put it in your business. I don't totally disagree, but it almost gives off this narrative of never invest in anything else besides your business. I fully disagree with that piece of it because that's just the tone that I get from it. Like like when I first started my journey in entrepreneurship, no one ever straight up said, hey, invest in stocks, invest in mutual funds, invest in all that. I didn't even know the terminology behind investing. I didn't even know the potential that my money could grow by by just planting my money there. You get what I'm saying? What I get from it is most people think that investing takes a really long time to make a lot of money from, which in my opinion is not the case. Like if you actually knew, if you actually did the amount of research in investing and how the percentages affect the amount of money that's in your investment account, you can really make a lot of money in a pretty short amount of time. I'm talking like five to 10 years. But I say all of that just to tell you, invest in your business, yes. Invest in your business growth, yes. But you got to think about this. A lot of the stuff, especially if you're a newer entrepreneur, or even if you've been an entrepreneur for a while, a lot of the stuff that you're going to put money into within your business is not going to give you a return on investment right away. So you might spend, let's say, $1,000 a year to keep your website. Now, I'm not talking about the domain. I'm talking about like the platform where if you use like Kajabi or Squarespace or something like that, you definitely have to pay a premium to keep that thing running. And you might not have any visitors on your website for a long time. You might even have an audience. And you might not even see people coming to your website for a long time or signing up for your email list for a long time or buying any of your products for a long time. So what does that mean? It means for a while you're not getting a return on your investment. But if you would split it up a little bit, like some of that money goes towards your savings, some of that money goes towards your business, and some of that money is going to go into stocks, other investments of that nature, index funds, ETFs, your Roth IRA, stuff like that. You have to have a plan, a retirement plan, because at work, it does it for you. It's automated. It comes straight out of your paycheck into your 401k. Boom, we're done. Straight into your 403b. Boom, done. But when it's just you, it's all on you. And like I said, you have to take ownership for any and everything you do. And if you decide, oh, I'm making all this money and you don't even think about investing, you're shooting yourself in the foot. We don't do that over here. Over here, we better ourselves, we build ourselves up, we understand and learn from our mistakes, and we continue to press forward no matter what is going on. That's what we're about over here on this channel. So you always have to have a plan for something. Don't just rely on your business to give you income for the rest of your life. Put your money into vehicles or stocks, I should say, that actually bring in more income for you over the course of time, whether it's in your sleep, what, no matter what you're doing, this, it's gonna be completely passive. You put your money in a company, boom. The company's still there. It's just boom, 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 boom. It's gonna go down sometimes, but it's gonna go up most of the time. You have to get into the right prices. You have to do your research. And I do have videos educating you guys on stocks. I highly recommend that you watch them. Not that many people watch them yet, but in the future, those videos are gonna be very, very, very valuable as this channel continues to evolve. You really, really, really got to invest. And you could do something like VFIAX, like an index fund like that, or VTSAX. You could even do both of those and just passively put your money in that. That right there is a better retirement account than most retirement accounts that are out there. I just want y'all to know that. You can find both of those on Vanguard. And I also talk about investments a lot more in depth on my book and also in other videos. So definitely check those out. Anyway, I get pretty fired up about investing, so I'm not going to talk too long about that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the third thing. Keep your account separate. I know it sounds simple, and this is going to be like the shortest part of this video. Keep them separate. Like Keep your personal stuff, like your bills and everything like that. Keep that in a separate account. Your business account, make it separate. Like So if you have like YouTube revenue, if you have revenue coming from your website or something of that nature or a product that you're selling, make sure it's going to a separate account because it's easy to get that mixed into what you're doing and you could really give in to lifestyle creep. The one thing that I tell everybody to definitely stay away from that is the most dangerous thing that you can have or encounter in your personal finance is yourself. Oh, I'm making all this money. I mean, you start spending frivolously. You start getting stuff that you definitely don't need when it could be going towards your business or things that are going to add more value to your life. And then once you get to a stage where everything matures, then you can afford them. Then, then it makes more sense to do those things. So what I'm saying is in this video is don't start reacting too early to your success because 
with anything in life, wins are temporary and everything starts at zero. By all means, you can celebrate your wins. By all means, you can be happy with your wins. I'm saying don't go overboard and don't create a habit based off of one win that now I'm going to have this expensive habit for X amount of time because I had this one win back then. Remember last year? You're going to still be talking about that five years from now. Yeah, last year I did this. Like, no, we got to still think about the future. That's what entrepreneurship and business is all about. Okay, we did this one thing. What's next? I done wrote my book. Now I'm doing my audio book. You get what I'm saying? I'm thinking about my next two books right now. I'm thinking about my courses. I'm thinking about all kinds of things. I don't even want to say all the things I'm working on right now because it's overwhelming. You know what I'm saying? I just want to put them out one thing at a time but that's what i'm saying you got to think about the future constantly i can't just think about what the videos for next week are next week i have to think about that now you get what i'm saying you always have to be providing content some sort of value some sort of product an experience of some sort so I say all that to say don't react too quickly but yeah just keep your account separate super simple keep them separate keep your savings separate too if you have some things in your business that you're saving for, whether it's like a new camera that you want for like photography or if you're hiring a videographer, you have to save up for some things in your business because especially if your business is small, like you're probably not going to have a ton of money coming in yet. Even if you're making a thousand dollars a month, you need to be smart with that thousand dollars a month because next month it might be two hundred dollars in that month. That's the real life version of entrepreneurship. It's not just, you know, sleeping in, walking around in your pajamas, making $12,000 a month just from posting a few Amazon ads. That ain't how it works. I don't care what any of these commercials or what any of these ads on YouTube tell you. It is not that easy. You got to put in that work. And you have to make something tremendously valuable for a multitude of people over a consistent amount of time. All while keeping your integrity and your character in place most people won't do that therefore it is not the easiest thing in the world and most people don't accomplish it so that's all i'm saying and the last thing is don't count on just one specific thing don't fall in love with just one specific aspect of your business i say this all the time i became so in love with the idea of making strong passive income on youtube that that would be the one thing that frees me and i can be an independent entrepreneur without having to rely on a job and blah 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 thought about this three years ago but that mindset was not a mature business mindset, and I'll tell you why. I wasn't thinking like an entrepreneur. I was purely thinking as someone who creates content on YouTube. That's very dangerous because what if YouTube snaps their fingers and they're gone tomorrow? What if Google's like, you know what? I don't want to do YouTube anymore. They're gone. Now, that's probably not going to happen, but crazier things have happened. So we don't know what's going to happen in the future. That is very unclear. Vine disappeared, Blockbuster disappeared, things happen, right? So who's to say, the one thing you got to understand as an entrepreneur and as any adult in life is that anything can happen at any time and you must be prepared for it. You can't be someone sitting around feeling sorry for yourself because something happened when you could have done something to prepare for it. So that's why I say, don't count on just one thing. Don't just count on your YouTube channel or your Instagram account or even your website or your email list. You have to have multiple things going for you. I don't just have a YouTube channel. I don't just have an IG. I also have my website. I also have my email list. I also have my books that redirect you to every single platform that I have. And I'm working on a ton of other things. And then you also have to think, like if you have an influence around personal finance, right? Something similar to what I'm doing. You have to think about, is this the only thing I'm good at? What else am I good at? Because me, I'm also good with fitness. I, I get down in the gym. You get what I'm saying? What other talents do you have besides the personal finance aspect? If for some reason that doesn't work. Well, I could go be a personal trainer and I could kill it. I get results. Maybe you're good at video games or good with music or whatever the case is, but you have to look at other things, other businesses that you could branch off to. You can't just count on like one book or one YouTube channel or one online course. Like at the end of the day, people have the choice to buy or not to buy. And if they choose not to buy, you have to think of something else. Whether that's changing up your strategy or putting together a completely different product that you didn't even ask them what they wanted. You get what I'm saying? Like if you just put out a product without saying nothing and you, don't, you didn't even assess if your audience or if people in general wanted it, then you can't be mad if you don't get sales. So don't put all your eggs 
in one basket as I've done so many times. There's been at least two occasions in the past like six years where I fully counted on whichever venture I had that at that time to completely free me and take me away from my job and allow me to be a full-time entrepreneur and make multiple six figures a year just from what I'm doing. You cannot do that because it's not a realistic way of thinking. And one thing as a business person you have to be able to do is make realistic decisions and calculations. If you don't, you'll be very unpleasantly surprised. But anyway, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.